Brinley's photo shoot is today, so I got everything figured out. So I wanted to show you guys. So here it is. This is the main setup for her. I got her cake stand and smash cake, gold candle. I was a little disappointed in the cake because of the coloring. I, I gave them this picture and I felt like this is way more pink than I had wanted. I wanted it to be exactly like this picture, but it is what it is at this point. Got her outfit ready to go. She just ate, so I'm giving her a minute. Where are you? I hear you. What are you doing? It's your photo shoot today. Yeah, so um, we are gonna try to do a family picture. Yes, we're gonna try to do a family picture first and then get her into her birthday outfit and do all that stuff. So hopefully it goes well. Guys, this morning we are going to the hospital for Brinley's feeding clinic appointment and here she comes. It's about an hour away and so we need to leave here at 8. Her appointment's at 8.30. I have no idea where I'm going. I don't, I'm not familiar with this hospital but it's a very top-notch hospital around us and so come here my little love bug. Come here. And so, um, we are gonna go there because I could not get in until July and they called and said, I guess I was on a waiting list, said they had an opening and so I jumped on that because this is like a very good place to go to and so that is what we're doing. We're gonna, I have to go by myself because A, Ryan works and B, they will only let one parent go in. So Ryan wouldn't be able to go in anyways. But um, the reason we're going, I think a lot of you guys were confused on the last video is her feeding, she fights her bottle in the sense of, like she used to fight her bottle, but like she's fine, but she needs music. So, it's hard to explain, like she'll drink, and then once you stop her to burp, and you go back to feeding her, she won't. She needs music, and she needs specific music. So if it's like The Little Mermaid, she won't do it. But if it's Moana, Frozen, she'll drink it. But it's mainly for the salad. She's been fighting her salad, she just, throws it on the floor, she screams, she cries, she slaps her hands on the high chair. She's not eating close to what she's supposed to be eating. Um, and I've been 
like if I can't get her to eat eat then I will suck it up and just give her purees because I'm so exhausted I know we're gonna leave soon in a minute and so anyways basically the um the feeding has just been such an issue for Ryan and I and it's 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 not even like satisfying to feed her anymore because it is a battle. It is an absolute battle and we just need to get to the bottom of it. And I want her to eat. <laughs> Ignore her. I want her to be eating and getting what she, you know the nutrition that she needs. And I want her getting off the formula. So that's going to be another thing that we discuss. So I'm going to go. She's She woke up so early this morning. Um, but we need to get going. I just want to explain that that's where we're going and I will try to film as much as I can when I get there Probably won't be much, but I'll see what I can do. So we'll see you at the hospital. Brinley and I are here. We are at the hospital We're about to go inside for her appointment her Feeding clinic appointment. So only one parent is allowed and Ryan's at work anyways. I know so I am not familiar with this hospital. So I will have to see, figure out where I'm going. I hate doing like new things because I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm by myself. And I have all this crap with me, stuff with me. But um, I will update you guys as soon as we get done. It could be like a three hour appointment. So we'll see how she does. <laughs> we were put in a room. We did her weight, her height, and her head. So um, we're gonna wait here. There's somebody else in the feeding <coughs> clinic room, and so once friendly, friendly. So when they go out, then we will go. In. doctor's room so I'm gonna entertain her okay <laughs> we are throwing our toys oh, anyways I will not be able to film in the clinic room because there's gonna be a ton of doctors in there so I will update you when we leave so I'm in my garage because we just got home Brinley fell asleep I need her to sleep it's during her nap anyways like this is her typical nap time so I'm just kind of checking in on her every now and then um, doors are open so she's good to go I just heard her. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Okay, let me get her out of the car. We had to turn on Mickey because this is like my eighth time trying to explain to you guys how her appointment went. And she wanted nothing to do with this video. Super crabby, so Mickey's on because that makes her happy. She gets Mickey once a day. That is it. So this is her one time. Ugh. Anyways, so her appointment went very well. The hospital was like a top-notch hospital, and the team of people that we worked with today were great. And so what they did, I'm just going to go and give a, a, quick, a quick briefing because I could go into great detail, but that would take forever. So basically it was a team of four people. They observed her eating. Um, Brinley did exactly what she does at home uh, with her behavior. So I was happy because then they got to see what she actually does. And then they leave and they talk and they come up with a plan and then they come back and each person speaks. So there was a speech therapist, a GI specialist, a nutritionist, and an OT. And so they each say what they feel and think and how to move forward kind of thing and give suggestions which i loved and the consensus was that this is more behavior not like a um an internal issue and so the gi specialist was very confident that he said a bunch of things but basically that get her off formula she's ready to go on a whole milk which is great because the other gi specialist was trying to switch her formula like a week before her birthday at that time she's like yeah i want to switch her to a new formula why are we doing that i wanted to switch put her on whole milk 
So I was very happy to hear that. Um, and then he was very confident. She was like, her reflux is done. Get her off the medicine. She doesn't have it. So yeah, I guess, I don't know. I mean, that's hard to like say. I mean, and I kind of questioned it a little bit and he was like, I am a GI specialist, aren't I? And I was like, yes, you are. That's why I'm here. But anyways, so yeah, we'll try taking her off the medicine probably tomorrow and see how she does and see how she does with whole milk. I'm going to transition her slowly. Um, he wants her to get off the bottle, which I couldn't agree more. You are so, you need to go back to sleep. Come here. I'm going to transition her to whole milk slowly so she will have some formula still so it'll be about a week before she completely goes on to whole milk and we'll see how she does um so going back to this being behavior we are going to keep in touch with the ot and we're going to start next week with a telehealth appointment with her and during one of brinley's feedings she is going to give us feedback advice tips on certain behaviors as they occur which is great because i don't know where we went wrong i really don't and we seriously, we, we need all the help that we can get. So we will be in contact with her probably until this behavior gets corrected. And the nutritionist, we're gonna kind of keep in touch with her, but she was very pleased with the variety of foods that I was offering Brinley. So that's where that stands. So it was a great appointment. I'm very happy that I went. I feel like we've been meeting with a few different people and we've been getting either no answers or just confusing like responses and so this was like a dead set this is what's going on this is what you need to do and that is exactly what ryan and i were looking for so that is a quick update so we're happy that it's nothing internal and that it's unfortunately just behavior <coughs> yeah you're talking about, she talks to this picture all the time i don't know what it is so anyways so that is the update on that and i guess Going forward, yeah, just telehealth appointments and hopefully that those help. Oh, and also the OT is gonna help with her sleeping because she is getting up one to two times a night, um, just screaming and it is a quick fix. We pick her up, we rock her less than five minutes, we put her back in, she's fine. But still, like we all agree that that should not be happening. So she's gonna, I don't really know how she's gonna help with that because I don't know how you stop a baby from getting up. Um, and then she agreed with me that the whole crying it out stuff, that we were not gonna go that route because it doesn't work with her. So anyways, that's that. Um, we're gonna let you go. She needs a bath. Just being in the hospital is a beautiful hospital, by the way, but I just feel like she was on the floor, like crawling. We were there for so long. I just wanna go give her a bath. So we're gonna go give her a bath. We will talk to you guys later. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.